Do I believe in UFOs or extraterrestrial visitors? I'm not authorized to answer that question. <laughs> <laughs> Um, where shall I begin? Um, UFO. First, remember what the U stands for in UFO. Now, there's a fascinating frailty of the human mind that psychologists know all about. And it's called argument from ignorance. And this is how it goes. You ready? Somebody sees lights flashing in the sky. They've never seen it before. They don't understand what it is. They say, a UFO. The U stands for unidentified. So they say, I don't know what it is. It must be aliens from outer space visiting from another planet. <laughs> well, if you don't know what it is, that's where your conversation should stop. <laughs> you don't then say, it must be anything. OK? That's what argument from ignorance is. It's common. I'm not blaming anybody. Psychologists know all about it. And it may relate to our burning need to have to know stuff because we're uncomfortable steeped in ignorance. You can't be a scientist if you're uncomfortable with ignorance, because we live at the boundary between what is known and unknown in the universe. The public, it appears, seems to have this burning need to have to have an answer to what is unknown. Second, we know, not only from research in psychology, but simple empirical evidence in the history of science, that the lowest form of evidence that exists in this world is eyewitness testimony. So now, so now, it wouldn't matter if you saw a flying saucer. Even if you have something less controversial than a flying saucer. If you come into my lab and you say, you got to believe me, I saw it. And you're one of my fellow scientists, I say, I, go, go, back, go home. <laughs> go back until you have some other kind of evidence that's not just you saw it. OK? Because human perception system is right with all ways of getting it wrong, okay? But we don't like thinking of ourselves that way. We have high opinions of our human biology when in fact we should not. I'll give you an example of how it reveals itself. We've all bought and enjoyed books called, called um, uh, Optical Illusions, right? Well, we all love Optical Illusions, but that's not what they should call the book. They should call them brain failures, okay? Because that's what it is. It is a complete failure of human perception, all right? All it takes is a few sketches that are cleverly done. Your brain can't figure it out, all right? So we are poor data-taking devices. That's why we have such a thing as science. 